watchful. He's vigilant. He's a hunter by nature. He's got the most highly trained senses. And he never stops sniffing around. He does not accept corporate payoffs. And he is not interested in making friends and allies. He's on every corporate hit list and every government watch list. The Bloodhound Review. Hello, welcome to the Bloodhound Review. I'm your host today, Non Doctor Smith, and uh, I feel like I'll take a risk here and raise the mask as we talk about Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant with Pure Cocoa Butter. By the way, Vaseline is another product by Hitler. I mean Unilever. Uh, they make suave soap, you know, I think they make uh, Axe deodorant, you know, all the all the big chemicals, you know, a $117 billion company. Usually if it's a big, dirty chemical uh, product like this, it's either made by Unilever or Procter & Gamble, a couple of those big Hitlerian elite, elitist companies that, are, that I assume, I can only assume are trying to give everyone breast cancer because they have some kind of future position on the medical community as well and they're making money off of the medical community when you go there that costs a fortune you go and you work on your breast cancer that could be what upwards of millions i imagine to heal that and uh and now you're covered because obama's gonna charge me to pay for it and he's going to um he's going to pay for it with tax money so basically it's just a, a they're basically, if you just break it down to simplicity, which no one does in a bureaucracy, it's complicated in a bureaucracy, but simplicity is what says, okay, we have a body here. We have an obligation. This, person, this body has rights. It employs lawyers. It employs doctors. We're going to give this body breast cancer. And then that body is going to go into the hospital. And that means we get $5 million from the taxpayers from Main Street to Wall Street. That's how that works. That's the simplification process, if you were wondering. So let's talk about Vaseline. The main ingredient is that old petroleum jelly. It sounds like petroleum, like gasoline, but it's a different kind of petroleum, right? Oh, you mean they're just using petroleum like gasoline that if you get on your fingers, it, it hurts you and it's bad for you. Uh, how come it doesn't hurt me in here? Well, they wrap it up well. That's why. Um, the first ingredient after water, petrolatum. It's a new twist on petroleum. It's a petrochemical. It's petroleum. I'm reading on David Suzuki right now. Uh, the European Union considers it a carcinogen and restricts its use. The European Union doesn't allow it. That's also confirmed on Natural Skin Care Authority here. Um, banned in EU cosmetics. And there is some concern that it causes breast cancer, that new popular fun condition that you can work on curing by going for a walk with Susan Coleman. Remember that? WebMD.com has a blank spot for it. Uses blank, side effects blank, interactions. They just prefer not to get into this one. It's a little controversial. It's made by such a big company and it's doing so well. They don't want to risk losing their funding, I guess. They just don't say anything on it. Um, petrolatum, now I'm on Livestrong.com. Petrolatum is found in breast tumors. So the ingredient itself is found in the tumors in its solid state. A study linking the petrolatum impurity polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, to breast cancer was completed at Columbia University. The study indicates that breast tissue of women with breast cancer were 2.6 times more likely to have increased amounts of PAHs attached to their DNA than the breast tissue of women without breast cancer. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are found in oil, coal, and tar deposits. That stuff we, oh, also found uh, National Institute of Environmental Health Service Sciences Research Triangle Park, North Carolina, also found that PAHs were found in the mutated genes of test animals with mammary gland cancer. It may also suffocate the skin petrolatum. 
Uh, wow, it's just may cause premature aging. But why? I mean, they got to be wrong, right? This is a Vaseline. This is from Unilever. This wouldn't be bad. We believe healthy skin starts with deep healing moisture. It all started with a wonder jelly that we've been perfecting for 140 years. Yeah. Today, we have micro droplets of Vaseline jelly in our Cocoa Radiant Lotion, with the, which absorbs deeply into your skin and moisturizes to heal it from within. With the, within the stratum corneum, they have a note, like the scientific explanation that applies only in this specific test or something. And um, I don't know how they got away with saying even what they did. Uh, but I guess if I go sue them, their lawyers would be more stronger than me. <laughs> I might lose uh, the technicality. So I might not be able to afford the $100 million to take them down. So anyway, that's it. I mean, I, I'll look at the other ingredients quick, but this is going to get two just absolutely monstrous thumbs down. And I recommend you take the bottle to your local Centers for Disease Control or Environmental Protection Agency and have them dispose of it properly. You are not equipped. You do not have the degrees necessary to dispose of this product. Um, but we'll look at it. Just It's got the carbomer again, fragrance, another horrible thing. Parabens, of course, also linked to breast cancer. Numerous sources for that. In case they don't give you breast cancer with the first ingredient, they double back to try to give you breast cancer with a later ingredient. Ingredient. And then you have, oh, I hate this one, the sodium EDTA and the old titanium dioxide. Again, you do not have the training to dispose of this product. Make sure you take it to your local CDC or your local fire department for help. Thank you for watching the Bloodhound Review.